It's Jackie Jing and welcome to the Jing Dynasty podcast and for the episode today we're going to be talking about do tall girls like short guys? Um, I feel like as a woman who is six foot two, um, six one and three quarters if you want me to be specific, I get asked this question a lot. Like I get asked this question by women, men, everybody. So um, again, this is just my opinion on it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm also live right now on twitch.tv slash Jackie Jing. I am always live Monday through Fridays around 1 p.m. Um, so if anyone has questions during the podcast, then like feel free to drop them. Um, okay, so f- just to answer the question, like, yes, like tall girls like short guys, um, at least when it comes to me. Um, I have dated, talked, um, been attracted to like tons of short guys. Like I, I can't even, like there is no number on that. Um, but I definitely think that there are some things that make me attracted to someone who is shorter than me. So, um, when there is like a tall guy, there's almost kind of like this innate natural attraction because I think that, either like what society has imposed on us or maybe it's carnal. I don't know what it is, but like when there is a guy who is taller than me, I usually just am kind of like, you know, meet them eye to eye and I'm just kind of like drawn to them, you know? Um, But, you know, like that's just on the surface level, right? It's like, then like, would I, if a tall guy was super attractive, we're having good conversations, like, yeah, I would talk to him. But the same thing with a short guy, you know, like it's like, if I meet a short guy and I feel that there is some sort of attraction there, be quiet, stupid phone going off. Um, anyways, if I feel like there is like some attraction there, like I'm going to act on it. And like, I, I do feel attracted to, to guys who are shorter than me. Like, and it, it doesn't matter the height. Like I've talked to guys who are five, seven. Um, I have talked to guys who are six foot. Um, I dated a guy for two years who was five, six. Uh, so, I mean, it's, I've definitely, like, if you're attracted to someone, you're attracted to someone. I, I do think, like I said, that there is this, like, natural attracted, attraction between me and taller guys, but, um, when a shorter guy has the confidence to come up to me and be interested in me, um, and, like, be like, hey, I think you're beautiful, or, like, they come in with, like, some sort of line, I usually am impressed. Like, I'm like, oh, wow. And then that automatically makes me a little attracted to them that they were that they were not um, self-conscious, like that they were confident enough to like come up and talk to me. And I think like the key to all of this is like confidence. Like I have found myself drawn to shorter guys um, like short. Like, I, I mean, I think I would say average height is probably what, like 5'9 to like 5'11, right? And like a shorter guy would be probably under 5'6, right? Um, or like 5'7, 5'8, like around there. And I have found myself attracted to guys who are like in that 5'6, 5'8 range who are just really confident, have a, are really charismatic, are really, really funny, that they literally walk into a room and own it and they don't have any like you can tell that they don't have any hang-ups about it you know what I mean and that they don't have any hang-ups about me being taller than them and if anything they're like oh my god I love your height or like they're saying stuff like that like that that is super attractive to me and I'll find myself drawn to those guys you know um and then when it comes to like the five ten to six foot range like I don't really even like, I don't even notice that they're shorter than me because it's so close to my height that I don't even notice. Like, I don't even notice that they're shorter than me. It's like, people are like, oh, well, he's a couple inches shorter than you, whatever. I'm like, I don't even notice because like, when you're, you're almost on eye level already. So like, that doesn't even phase me, you know? So it's like, I, I don't know. It's funny because I think people think like tall girls are really stuck up and we only want to talk to tall guys. And like I said, there is definitely that innate attraction there. There's like that natural attraction. But if you're a shorter guy and you have confidence and you're complimentary and there is a connection, um, like why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's absolutely like no reason not. So I think like 
a lot of shorter guys are intimidated. I think tall guys, I think everyone is intimidated by a tall woman. We're just like, women are intimidated by us. I feel like we're just like a presence because it's like, you know, one, I think for me, it's like doubly a lot because I think I'm really tall. I think I'm not like skinny or willowy. Like I'm more like athletically built. And then I think I kind of have a big personality and I'm fun, like funny and kind of like, you know, I don't know. I just draw a lot of attention to myself. So I find myself like really intimidating. So, um, and that makes me sad because I, I feel like I'm really fun loving and, and accessible and like love everybody. Um, but I do feel like sometimes people just on the surface level get really intimidated. Um, so yeah, that sucks. Um, but I think like one thing that has disappointed me over the years is like, I will find out like guys had crushes on me and then they didn't, they didn't like do anything about it. And now like they have a girlfriend or time has passed and stuff like that. And I'm just like, you know, so many people, there's missed opportunities. Like, it's like, just go out there and shoot your shot. Like, what's the worst thing that's going to happen, you know? And honestly, like, as a woman, like, I shoot my shot all the time. Like, when I'm into a guy, I usually just go up and try to have a conversation. And if there's a connection there, then I'm like, hey, what's up, whatever. And it kind of bothers me because I feel like I have to do that more often than I'd like to. Um, but like, when a guy comes up to me and hits on me, I'm usually like blown away. I'm usually like, wow. Like that almost makes me automatically like drawn to them even more. Cause just for me, I feel like guys are just super intimidated by me a lot. So thank you. Super said that I seem nice and pretty. I will take that. Um, there's great chemistry until you beat their butt at volleyball. That's actually really funny because I know a lot of guys that I've gone on dates with and I'm like, let's play volleyball. And they're like, I just don't want you to beat me. And like, I'll feel so like insecure about it. And I, I'm not going to lie low key when a guy <laughs> can't play volleyball. Like I do cringe a little bit, but then I'm like, okay, whatever. Like that doesn't matter. But it is kind of funny when like a guy's terrible at volleyball. Um, do I still love heels? Have you seen my social media? I wear heels all the time. I, my mom literally has the best legs I've ever seen on a human being. She has like frog legs and they're just like super muscular. And, um, I like to think that she passed on those jeans to me. And I used to be really paranoid about wearing heels and stuff like that. But, um, I wear them now. I'm like, I don't care. You know, um, I just know that if I wear heels, like <laughs> no guys are going to be hitting on me when I'm out. And I don't really care about that. Um, I'm just kind of like, is what it is, right? Um, but I love wearing heels. I think, like, I have great legs and they look great in heels, you know? So, yeah. Um, guys have to be good at volleyball? Damn. I didn't say that, BoJack Horseman. I just said that when they're not, you're kind of like, ooh, you ain't good at volleyball. Um, I'll be honest, if we even want to get into that, when I, I think volleyball guys tend to be some of the most arrogant, stuck-up guys ever. Like, I actually am kind of, like, low-key turned off when a guy's really good at volleyball because I'm just like, nah, like, you're arrogant about that and I don't even want to mess with that. Um, sometimes they're not, but, like, I'll be honest, like, that almost makes me more wary of them. I follow you on social media and I saw you look fab. Well, thanks, Derek. Um, athletics, have, okay, I'm great at volleyball. Great. Um, so, anyway, to answer the question, yeah, I think that um, tall girls are attracted to short guys, but I think that short guys need to shoot their shot. And I think that they can't like have hangups about the height or talk about the height a lot, or they need to be like, Oh my God, I think you're so gorgeous piece of that. Like lean into like how beautiful the girl is. Um, you know, so I think that that would be my, my advice to any of the little the little, oh my God, that's not bad. Any of the short guys out there, shorter guys, like just go and shoot your shot. Um, I think that even if a woman has the conception in her head that she only wants to be with like a tall guy or she has like some certain type build up in her head, she can always be swayed. Um, and it, it's like, you have to have, I think like when you're a guy, it's like, you just have to be like, okay, like possibly this could be it, right? Like, we, you got to shoot your shot. Um, go for it. So, yeah. Um, I'm here to answer your question as a short but good-looking guy. It's hell no. One CM was once enough. What's a CM? I don't know what the, a CM is. And f Mads the Chad, first of all. I'm telling you that's not the case. Like, I have dated guys who are 5'7", 
five six. Um, I dated a guy who was five six for two years. I dated a guy who was five eleven for two years. You know, like I don't know. For me, yeah. Injured Moose just said tall women are ugly. <gasps> Why? I'm just kidding. Um, no, tall women are fabulous. I, whenever I see a tall woman, I like light up. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like I, for a long time was insecure about my height and felt like really very uncomfortable about my height. Um, and then one day I had a friend tell me like, Jackie, like you don't need to be slouching. You don't need to be like pleasing people and like trying to cater to people. You know, she was like, you walk into a room and everyone is staring at you, like no matter what you do, you know? And, um, and she's like, and you got to own that. And so, um, I personally, uh, not just for myself, for other tall women out there, like I try to carry myself with like confidence and, um, and, and grace and elegance. Um, but no, I try to carry, like be proud of it because it's like, if, I'm not proud of myself. Like, what kind of example am I setting for other tall women out there? You know, like, we're all given gifts. And, and this is a gift for me that I'm I'm paid for college, um, you know, has always helped me get attention. Like, when I walk into a room, I can command a room. Has anybody watched Ted Lasso? Because that is, like, one tall, badass, boss fucking lady. And, like, she's an inspiration to me. You know, so um, I do think it's like you guys, you never know who's looking at you, you all, y'all, whether it be like a little brother or a little sister or somebody you work with. And it's like set the right example, you know, like I'm not going to sit here and be like, ugh, like, yes, being tall, a tall woman definitely has its frustrations. I think a lot of people are intimidated to talk to us. Um, like even right here, we have uh, what Mads the Chad said that there was like a one centimeter a difference and she deleted the match like Chad that girl shit <laughs> that doesn't mean anything about other tall girls and that doesn't mean anything on you that's like a reflection of her insecurity so like you can't come into a conversation like this and be like oh yeah all women are like this like that's not the case I can tell you right now like I just a couple months ago was talking to a guy shorter than me and he wasn't interested in me I really liked him I really wanted to date him and he was probably five seven and um I really liked him and he decided he wanted to be with his ex-girlfriend he was like deciding between whether he wanted to get back together with her or not and he decided to go be with her so it's like doesn't, I don't think that's the way that it works all the time. Did I just, whoa, there's all these comments here. Let me try to catch up. Okay. Whoa, 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 tons of comments. Okay. Um, the taller they are, the less physically attractive they can be. And I'll be more attacked. You think the taller girls are the less physically attractive they can be? I don't know about that. I think there's a lot of beautiful tall women. I have a friend who's six, four, and she literally looks like Cindy Crawford. And is like a supermodel. Um, I just, I don't know. I think tall women can be super attractive. Um, shooting your shot can burn bridges. You got to pick your target wisely. That's a good point. So you got to be really careful about shooting your shot. I think a lot of guys, they either come in too hot um, or they just go about it wrong. Like you want to establish a friendship first more than anything, right? Like Go in there and um, don't, like, no tall comments. Like, do, that is, like, literally the worst thing you can do. Literally the worst thing you can do. You can walk up to her, like, oh, my God, when a guy's like, holy shit, or that's one huge bitch, or, like, something fucking stupid. I'm like, any chance you had just went out the fucking window. So, like, but if you're like, hey, like... How you doing tonight? You look absolutely stunning. Um, can I buy you a drink? Like, do you think I'm going to say no to a, a guy who says that to me and then tries to start a conversation with me and tries to, like, start a friendship with me? Like, people, guys go in for the kill too early. Like, get to know the person. Like, get to know the tall girl. Like, don't make the tall comments. Like, treat her like a human being. I don't think that that's that hard, you know? Um, thank you, guys. There's some really nice comments in here. Um, oh, I love that Bear King said tall woman energy. My wife is a bit taller than me. Go you. Tall women are underappreciated appreciated for real. I guess it's just a matter of society's expectations when it comes to relationships. Yeah, I think so too. I think society puts a lot of pressure on men to f be like secure and feel manly. And like for some reason, 
a lot of men don't feel that way when a woman is taller than them, which sucks. But I, again, this is on them. So, um, Hannah Waddington is a queen. Love it. Um, yeah. And she won an Emmy yesterday. Great. Cause she's fantastic. Um, so then someone said, when I followed you on your social media, it was initially deceptive. I wasn't aware that you were so tall. But then one day I saw your Insta reel where you mentioned your height and I was blown away, even more stunned. Aw, thank you. I think these bad experiences men and women face tend to throw these blanket statements about the opposite sex and it tends to just get out of control. Thank you for clarifying that is not the case. God, that is the truth. Thank you so much for that, a wild elder appearance and appears. And I'll be honest, I've had to do that with myself. Like, I've been like, Men are shit. Men fucking suck. Men treat me like dog shit. All men fucking are trash. And then I realize, like, you know what? Like, there's just so many hurt, wounded people out there. And there's no way that I can throw out those those blanket statements like that. Um, and, like, honestly, recently I started dating a guy. And um, I don't know if he likes me or not, to be honest. I, like, kind of get in my own head about it all the time. But we hang out, like, once a week. And, you know, we'd been hanging out once a week for a while. And then, like, I finally was like, okay, like, do you like me or not? Because, like, you didn't message me for four days straight and then ask me on a date. I'm like, it makes me, like, super insecure and in my own head, you know? And then he was like, you're busy. You got five jobs. He's like, and I work. He's like, I, and he's like, I'm not trying to gaslight you here or anything. He's like, I just, just thought you were busy, you know? And then today, I haven't heard from him for a couple days. And I started again in my own head about it. And I was like, you know what? Like, just because I've had guys in the past love bomb me or I've had guys in the past pretend to like me and then disappear, like just all these bad past experiences. It's like I'm letting that influence what is like just a friendship right now, you know? And and so I think like just from that comment right there, a wild elder appears, um, you know, we've all been hurt and it's so important to refresh and realign and just like let things happen organically. And like, dude, if that guy doesn't end up liking me, like who gives a fuck? Like I shouldn't be worrying about it. You know, there's no reason to put any more time or thought. If he texts me, great. So whatever. Um, his loss, you're right about anyone thinking uh, if it's hi- about height is a bad look on them. Is it embarrassing if your guy can't reach the top shelf in public? No, I would like gladly grab something off the top shelf or for my boo thing. I'd be like, hey baby, I got you. Um, I'm attracted to tall women no matter how otherwise physically attractive they are or not. Yeah, like, everyone has a type, right? Like, I think ideally, like, I like guys between 6'3 and 6'5. That's what I'm, like, drawn to. But like I said, like, if a guy who's 5'7 comes in with confidence, like, you better believe if there's a 6'3, 6'5 guy there who looks like Henry Cavill, but his personality is zilch, zero, I'm just going to be like, I don't want, I don't have a future with you. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I can't, like, we will all grow old and grow short and our spines will go, and our skin will go, it's like, (laughs) that, that doesn't matter. Like, I just want to have like a soul connection with you. And that's the way we should all be. Um, let's see any other comment. Wow, there's so many. Men have got the image that girls want a man taller than them because so many women have said so. Again, Bojack, though, this is what society has has imprinted on us. And like, you have to remember that like, you can make an impression and you can change someone, you know? And if they, if they say no to you, that is on them. That is not on you. Um, I tell Cece this all the time. Cece can be really hard on herself. And she's like, says a lot of mean things to herself and I'm happy she's not here because she wouldn't be happy that I'm saying this but like I love her to pieces and I tell her all the time that I'm a 10 out of 10 you're a 10 out of 10 we are already whole okay like you are enough like Giselle is not better than me (laughs) I am not better than Giselle um like I am not better than the janitor I am not better than the CEO the CEO is not better than me the all of it. Like we all get caught up with like this system that society forces on us. And that system is shit. Okay. Like you are already whole. I am already whole. You are a 10 out of 10. I'm a 10 out of 10. No one is going to complete you or make you whole. Okay. And no one is better than you or less than you. It's just, if you guys are 10 out of 10s together and you align and you're compatible together, 
That's it. That's it. So, like, it's almost funny to talk about height to me, like, at this level. Because it's, like, that, to me, that's so not even important. Hope that made sense. Oh, my God. There's so many comments. Okay. Yeah, classification sucks. We're all human beings. One and the same. Thank you. Um, If they're not into you, that is not indictment of you. It is an indictment of your incompatibility. Thank you so much. Incompatibility, 100% there. Um... You have to have hope first before you can love. You can't let the past people have control over you. You know, Alejandra, that is so powerful. Like, I have been hurt so much. I let people in and they, like, walk all over me and I've been hurt really badly, you know? And um, it's, it's hard to reset. It's hard to keep your heart open and have hope. But um, you're, you're not going to let anybody in. You're not going to find that love unless you forgive and you move on, you know? And I think it's also, I can talk about this in another podcast, like the importance of blocking people, which is funny because, well, it will be funny later. I ain't going to say why, but okay, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to the Jing Dynasty podcast. Um, We drop episodes every week, usually on Wednesday morning. So thank you so much for listening and I'll see y'all next time. And again, follow me on all different social media platforms at Jackie Jing and comment about what you'd like to hear me discuss. Thanks. Bye.